What's up, YouTube? Fortune, I'm back, and this is my redo of card of the week number one. I left out a lot of information in the first version of this video that I did, so I figured I would just, you know, I would just delete that video and redo it. So this is more of a professional version, so I'm gonna get right to it. Uh, card of the week number one is Vanity's Emptiness. It's a continuous trap card. And basically says, well, this card is face up on the field. Neither player can special summon monsters. And then destroy this card when a card is sent from from the deck or the field to your graveyard. Keyword being your. Um, for the longest time, I always thought that if you flip this card up, it can, it, like, if you have this card face up on the field and your opponent sends a card from their field or their deck to the graveyard, that this card would get destroyed. But that's what you get for not reading cards. So, uh, this card is, in my opinion, really good. It, you can drop it on like a wind-up player at the right time. And honestly, you can just leave it there. You don't even need to play any more cards. So, you can just drop it and wait your t buy your time. Because they've got like no offense going except for like wind-up rabbit. So, it's like... If I was playing against a wind-up player and I run in sectors, I would just probably leave that on the field for a little bit, not commit anything else to the field for a couple turns. Because <clears throat> they have no way of getting past it without MST or Heavy Storm. And I would just wait. Yeah, I might take a few hits and everything like that, but they can't swarm the field. And wind-up rabbits are only 14. Like, their guys are all weak, so. But it's like a really good card. But I have three cards up here. They're all face down. All three of these cards work with this card here, and this is how I'm going to do future card of the, the week videos as well. I'm going to th include cards that I think work well with the card. There's actually another one, but I don't own the other one that I could find. It's uh, uh, The first one is Imperial Custom. Works amazing with this card. I just don't own any, so I couldn't put it up there in one of those spots because I just don't own any. I didn't want to proxy and show a proxy and stuff like that, so... Basically, we have this card up on the field with Imperial Custom. You've got a lock. You've got this card to stay in, and you can just go ahead and play whatever cards you want. Because before they have to get rid of the Imperial Custom before this card will even die. So it's a really good card. It, it, the only problem is Imperial Custom isn't really used in mini decks. I think it's really actually only used in the that I've seen is the Yuria Trap deck. So. I, w I wouldn't consider using Imperial Custom, teching it in just to work with this card, but just basically food for thought. The next card is White Dragon Ninja. You see this card in Ninja decks, or things that tech in ninjas. Um, if you have this up on the field and then you flip Vanity's Emptiness later on, you basically get them locked. They can't special summon at all. And then if you include, even if you if you have this up and you throw that down and you throw a safe zone on, you basically won the game. They have, like, no out because nobody runs Caius anymore. So, yeah, you would, for the most part, win the game right there and then. So, this is good, but it kind of forces you to only play it in Ninja decks, which makes this card, like, you won't be able to, like, combo those two together very often. So, uh, the next card is Macrocosmos. This card makes everything go out of play. So you can have this card up and that and basically just go to town, play as many cards as you want and they'll just go out of play instead so this won't get destroyed. This is a little more practical than White Dragon Ninja because White Dragon's focus right on ninja decks where this can go in multiple decks. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if you see some rabbit decks that would try to run it. Because they flip that out, like if they side this in against a wind-up deck or a mirror match or something like that, and then they flip and they side in that, or you know, like some weird combination. So this has potential, because everything would just go to play, which hurts a lot of decks nowadays anyway, so. But yeah, and lastly is, I can get it flipped up, like that. Levier, or in this case, I use that as an example for Exceed Monsters. Um, which oh, ironically goes well with that too, but that's besides the point. Uh, Levier. Uh, basically, Levier is an example of just exceed monsters. 
for this card, as in if this card's up and you have an exceed out, you can use the effect of your exceed or whatever and send cards off of it to the grave. But because the cards are considered to be part of the exceed monster, they don't leave the field and go to the grave, so this card would not get destroyed. I was originally going to use like a Leviathan Dragon, but I figured the ghost might be a little hard to see. I don't know why I was thinking that, but whatever. But yeah, so there's those three cards that work really well with Vanity's Emptiness. Ninja deck, side, you can side Macrocosmos or if you're running a Mac, I know to play deck, whatever, and Exceed Monsters. There's also Imperial Custom, which I just don't own. So yeah, so let me know what you guys think of this one compared to the last one, of course. Uh, I think I put in a lot more information this time. Um, I can pretty much almost guarantee you will see this coming in this format in some people's side decks probably, unless they release, unless Konami releases something that does almost, that stops special summons that's just as good. Which honestly, they should have just bought, brought back Royal Oppression, which would have made the game a lot more stable, but what are you going to do, right? You have to adapt. You can't just complain and complain about a meta. You have to actually adapt to it, so. But yeah, alright, so, uh, I'm out. Uh, I'm going to do some dual videos tomorrow at my locals, so this video will probably almost definitely be up before the dual videos, but make sure you keep watching my channel to check them out, and yeah. Alright, see ya.